from a pure economist point of view, uh, we would think that the highest priority things for governments to do would be places that markets particularly work very, very badly. And in the health sector, there's two major char characteristic market failures um, for the sector. On the one hand, those pure public goods, the traditional public health, the water, the sanitation, et cetera, et cetera, um, is absolutely essential. And not only that, only government can handle most of those things. The other major market failure would be sort of a universal failure of insurance markets. Uh, rich countries are still uh, sort of struggling with this. Uh, the United States is the single best example of where not being able to deal with the insurance function has made a real mess of the, of the uh, American healthcare system. The one part where the market isn't so obviously bad, or at least it's an empirical question that should be researched, is primary care, which is just one-on-one, -on -one, relatively inexpensive, routine curative care, um, uh, that there has always been a private sector. There's still a gigantic private sector. In India, the most recent statistics that just came out last month, it's 80% uh, of people visit the private sector for their first visit when they get ill. I think that's quite similar in Pakistan, though the data isn't quite as good. Um, and so there's this very large private sector that um, the government has to compete with. So the, um, and it's an empirical question as to which one does, does better. But in any case, something goes on even if the government isn't there when it comes to standard primary care. However, that's from the economist's efficiency increasing kind of perspective. From politicians' point of view, they would like to be able to give things to their constituents, and it's precisely the kinds of things that are private goods that actually are appealing to politicians. So that the patient goes to a primary health care center, they can say, the, the politician can claim credit for having provided this service. He can't really claim uh, credit for clean water that happens to come out of pipes. The fact that you didn't get bitten by a mosquito, very hard for a politician to claim credit for. Um, but uh, the private goods are something that politicians can claim credit for. So it's a real paradox. On the, from a, an efficiency point of view, you want government to do public goods, things that only, where you can't identify the beneficiary. And from, a, from the politician's point of view, you do want to identify the beneficiary, and we have this real paradox. <laughs>